spend just a few seconds on what hard rain does. I think the reason that people are touched by it is because it shows how all our global problems tumble together like they do in the real world. Uh, what we've done is to create an exhibition in three parts. The opening section is called Aligning Human Systems and Natural Systems. And, and um, uh, we've been working with all the leading thinkers in the environmental movement in the UK and, and Lloyd Timberlake from America. Um, I find that a very, very helpful um, way of setting out what the challenge is, aligning human and natural systems. Up to now we've been in headlong collision with nature. Well, you'll get a glimpse of this. Um, uh, we start off by um, looking at how we can reinvent the modern world so that it's compatible with nature. Looking at the different um, technologies which enable us to get uh, electricity uh, from renewables. Illustration from Bhutan and from America. Um, now Bhutan is always listed as one of the countries where people are very happy with their lives. Um, and of course America is one of the countries where consumption is, is just tremendous. The issues of poverty and moving on to systematizing cities, a rather difficult, um, intriguing title, uh, making the point that development in cities has to be joined up um, in order to make the uh, infrastructure efficient and usable by, um, its, by their populations, by city populations. Future farming, um, illustrated with a wonderful picture um, obviously taken in the 1950s when there was this tremendous optimism about factory farming and, and um, the prospect of a world without hunger. Um, this section is going to be replaced in every country that we uh, are able to show the, the, uh, the display and it's going to be, we're going to collect sustainable examples from all around the world. Um, we, we're now, of course, working on what Sweden is doing. We hope to show the Nordic countries and Europe, as well as countries like China and India, the, the BRIC countries, Brazil, to show that we have created the, the basic structure for uh, sustainability. The last section is on the majority world. It shows this huge migration from the countryside to the cities and it makes a point that this isn't the big problem area. This is where the big difficulties and problems in the, in the majority world are solved, where people have smaller families, where child health care is made available, education for girls as well as boys and employment. Um, so uh, this is looking at really dynamic solutions being developed by people in the majority world as they improve their own family life.